Okay, so unit 4.4 uh, basically is about transforming functions. So we're going to do some things with that. So number one says the graphs below have the same shape, write the equation of g of x. So what we're looking at is what happens. So if we look at f of x, we start here at zero, and then we go up one, two, three. So we went up three units. Okay, so going up three units, what that tells us is whenever we do that, we are going to add okay, um, to the function. So we have a g of x equals our x squared is going to stay the same, and then we're just going to add 3. So because we went up 3 units, we're going to add 3. So that's our new function. Um, so over here, let's do a little key. Woo! <laughs> I forgot it's too weird. Okay, so if we go up, okay, uh, then we're going to do f of x plus the number that we go up on this say e. If we go down, okay, then we're going to do f of x, whatever it weighs, minus e. So that, for example, is like this one. We start here at zero, and then we go down one, two steps. So this one is down two. So we're going to keep our f of x, so g of x is going to be the x cubed. That's not going to change. And then we're going to do minus our z, which in this case, hold on, um, in this case, our, I'm going to put our z as the right thing to have. Um, since we went down here, it's going to be minus t. So down here, it's going to be, we have x to get x to get minus t. Okay, so then, and I will send you in some way a copy of this as well, not just the video. Okay, so for this one, it says the graphs below have the same shape. Write the equation of g of x. So this one is going to be, uh, we have, uh, we're going left. So when we go left, what we do is we do f of x minus the, how far we go. Um, and if we're going right, oh, no, plus, sorry, plus how far we go. If we go right, we're going to go f of x minus how far we go. So this one, we start at zero, and then we go one, uh, one, two, three, four. So we are going left four units. So g of x is going to be... This time we're actually going to put it in parentheses. So we're going to do parentheses x plus 4. So left is plus. And then we're going to up. This one we're starting at 0 and we're going 1, 2. Looks like 2 units. So 2 units. And this time we're going to the right. So we're basically going to do the same thing where our g of x is going to equal x now minus 2, because right is minus, and then we have our x minus 3, 2. And there we go. Okay, so for up, we're adding outside of the x part, and then for down, we're going to subtract outside of the x part. For left, we're going to add inside with the x, and then right, we add, we subtract inside with the x. Okay, so then this is just a little bit more. I'll do a couple more of these. So it says the graphs below have the same shape, but the equation of g of x. So we started here at 0, and then we went down 1, 2, 3, 4. So we went down 4. Uh, now, because it's a vertical shift, we don't need to put anything in with these x's. We're just going to do our 4 at the end. So we have g of x equals x to the 4th minus x squared, that's x to the 3rd, and then we're going to subtract 4, so it's not the way to go. And that's it. So this one says that it has the same shape, but it has shifted 4 units to the right. So right, 4. So that means we're going to put it inside with the x, so I think that's the shift. So g of x is going to be x 
minus 4 to the number of 8 is going to make it negative, and then to the 10. And so that's going to be our equation for this one. Now, sometimes they're going to combine it, and I think in your last quiz, they're going to combine it. So it's starting here, and let's look at the, 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 the horizontal shift. We're going to go 1, 2. So we went 2 units to the left. So that means that inside of the x, we're going to add it to. So our d of x, our first part, is going to be um, x plus 2 squared. And then we have to see how far x we go. So I'm going to go back here. We went up 1, 2, 3. So then it's 3 up. So that's also a plus. So that's going to be outside the parentheses plus 3. And then we go. Now, like I said, what you can do is you can use Desmos and grab uh, your answer choices and see if you get here. Let's see if this is where you're headed, if you get to the bottom um, Okay, then it's the same thing. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 4 to the right. Okay, so that means our g of x is going to be x minus 4. And then we go down one. So one down. Okay, so then we're going to subtract them outside of the point. There we go. Again, you can just use Desmos and plug it in and see if it matches, and that'll work just as well. Um, I'll just do these last two and then I'll send this to you. So it says if you have asked to be the two minus three zero at third, it will take the two units to the left and three units at what would the new equation be? So the two units to the left, um, and then I'll say each time of that, it's gonna go in with the X, so it's gonna be one minus three zero X plus two squared, and then three units at plus three. And then for the next one, we've got five minutes to the right and two minutes down. So g prime of x is going to be, we're going to, I want to do the horizontal first, so we've got three, um, and then we have x minus uh, five, because right is minus, squared. And that is plus eight minus two, because two is down. I can actually combine my like terms here, so this is going to be 3 x minus 5 squared x. We want to combine that to so get the same thing. And then that's going to be only 3 x. Okay, so there's kind of a lot going on, um, but in summary, we're only going to do this. Okay, so this is so in summary, I'm going to take it on the um, So, okay. So if you are shifting, so if the shift is up, okay, you're going to do f of x plus the vertical shift. If the shift is down, we're going to do f of x. Minus the vertical shift. So um, let's say that the x of x equals x squared. Okay, so what this looks like is it's going to be uh, x prime of x equals x squared plus the vertical shift. So what in this case, if you go down, minus the vertical shift. If you go left, okay, then it's going to be x. X plus a horizontal shift. So that's what I would like to use the same one. We're going to put this in parentheses now. So that's going to be plus a horizontal shift. And then if we go right, that's going to be F X minus a horizontal shift, which if we again put it in this form, X minus. And you can combine these, so you can do two at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to send this to you, and uh, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Please call me. All right.